So the first recipe we're making is my smashed tahini chickpea salad sandwich. This is an amazing beginner plant-based recipe that is perfect for meal prep and kind of like a tuna salad sandwich if you're a meat eater. So you're just gonna start by adding tahini, Dijon mustard. Oh, let that come out there. Uh, apple cider vinegar, dried dill, maple syrup, sea salt into a bowl. Give that a nice whisk. Yum! <laughs> and now we're gonna go in there with that can of chickpeas and give it a mash. So really this is a five minute recipe and the best part is you can keep this mix in your fridge for three to four days. So it can really go far. So after you've got a nice mash, it depends on uh, what type of consistency you're going for, but I like it a little bit chunky. You're gonna add in your red onion and green onion. Give it one more stir to make sure that's combined. And we're gonna serve it up between a bun today, but you could really do it in a wrap if you want. You can yeah, eat it you on can its do own. It lettuce wraps, right? Or on charred naan exactly. bread, yogurt bread, whatever. Exactly. Oh, it's gorgeous. You're just gonna, I'm adding a little bit of tomato and sprouts to make it gorgeous. A delicious sandwich. Oh and my that's God, what we're can talking you about. Put your mouth around it. <laughs> <laughs> it is a big sandwich. <laughs> Carly, I am planted with you. My face is planted on your book, which is beautiful, accessible, and I love how you explain this to people. You are not saying the whole world has to go entirely plant-based. You're just suggesting ways in which we can eat smarter, healthier, and waste-free. Congratulations. Rachel, you holding my book is a complete dream come true and your kind words. Thank you so, so much. I always say it starts with one step at a time, one plant at a time. You don't have to go vegan. You don't have to go zero waste overnight. It's just simple steps to get there. And that's what I'm all about. Everybody should think about including more plants in their diet. I've said this for many, many years myself. And it's work like this that makes it fun and accessible. Even if you eat meat, this is a great book for you. This is a great book because it teaches you things that you just didn't know.